How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another Goon Squad episode. Today, we are with Cosmo and Weston, and we are at Walmart. And today, we are using Walmart's cheapest grills to cook the world's most expensive <laughs> steak. You guys, stay tuned. I got to put together, and I ain't going to lie to you, man. This is janky. All right, our Walmart grill versus expensive pellet grill. World okay, champion. I think I know which one was which. Worst champion. That is a good oh looking steak. Right now we are looking for Walmart's cheapest grill. You find one? I think I think we found it. 19 bucks. <laughs> oh, this might be the one right here. Portable charcoal grill. Yeah. I think that's all we need. Yeah, we can do that. You think you think that's you, the best bet? Think, How much you, is that one? You yeah. think that big old tomahawk's gonna fit? On no, it's absolutely not gonna fit there. Flawless. How much is the portable gas? Do you think it's cheaper? Okay, let's see. Or do you think it's more? Move it. Oh, it's gonna be more. It's gonna. It's the gas. Be, right? it's yeah, gonna it's be. got. It's got moving parts, okay, okay. mechanisms. So I think the cheapest one's the nineteen dollars. Yeah. This guy right here. I got. Do you something. think you can handle it? I got. Some. Oh, so I, yeah. I think what we're gonna do for this video. So, by the way, Cosmo here. He's world champion. Okay. World champion bar. What do you say? World champion barbecue. World champion steak cook off. Twenty fifteen. Yeah. World champion. So, yeah. we figured. We're gonna kind of, you know, give us a little bit of an edge here. It's gonna be Weston and I versus Cosmo, but he is gonna have to be using this, and we are gonna be using a pellet grill that is back at the Guggen HQ. So we're gonna kind of have an advantage. We're gonna have an actual grill that's proper for cooking the steak. Yeah. And you're stuck with. So, so this. technically, this grill. Yes. You could buy almost ten of these. Yeah. For the for price. as much as this steak costs. So, I mean, you should so, have an advantage, <laughs> but you would think so because this, this steak is about two hundred dollars. But, but, I, but I, I knew this was going to happen. Yeah. So, so I grabbed one other item for myself. Oh. And this is this is my secret ingredient right here. A grinder. Yeah. That's going to be the deal. That's going to be the game changer. This is going to be what this and this is going to be what beats you. All right. We'll find out. You guys stay tuned. We are back at the Guggen HQ. Right here we have two delicious, succulent tomahawk steaks. And uh, well, one's definitely bigger than the other, so I would just say uh, you might want to take the small one. Just, I, 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 just to give you a little I, bit of an advantage Just because here. my square footage yeah, is not, a little bit smaller than yours. But you can, I mean, yeah. look how big we're talking here. Yeah, that looks juicy. I mean, this is a, this, that that's is a, a big monster. piece of meat. But what we're gonna do is, this is what we have to work with. Yeah. We have SPG, Texas beef, We've got cow, hot cow cover, normal cow cover, honey, chipotle killer bee, and hot dirty bird. These are the Cosmo seasonings, and I, I mean, we're, we're cooking against Cosmo. You, I mean, you're the one that made these things, mm -hmm. so I'm kind of nervous to make like executive decisions here on what to do, but uh, I think we're just gonna go for it. Here's here's my thoughts behind it. I think we could play it safe. Yeah, I think safe is our our bet here. I think they're all pretty I tasty. Think, look at this one. Texas, Texas beef. beef. Where are we right Makes now? Sense. We're right here at the HQ. We're in Texas. Texas, and we got beef. I feel like that's probably the best strategy. I'm not the safest. You don't. You don't have to say anything. No, 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 no. That, that's a great call. I'm also in Texas. Correct. <laughs> and, and I also have beef. Okay. So I'm gonna go with the cow cover hot, hot on my beef hot. with. Oh, you're gonna steal Texas you're gonna... beef on top. Wait. Is that, can we do is that, that thing? Can we, I feel like that's cheating. cheating. I'll tell you what, I'll take that back. I'm gonna go cow cover hot oh. with SPG on top. You're doubling up. Of my beef. You're doubling it up. I'm gonna walk you down flavor trail. Oh, I don't think so. I don't know if I'm ready for that. That thing looks good, dude. Mm. Snake River Farms. The greatest meat that you could possibly stick in your mouth is where you get it. You get it at Snake River Farm. So that's where we're rocking with. But I mean, that's just that's just excessive. That's a big old. I mean, slab that's, of that's excessive. Right <laughs> but I think what we're gonna do. Do you know anything about seasoning steaks? Uh, well, we're supposed to let her uh, warm up to room temp. And she's feeling about there. <laughs> Let's go. Fresh ahead. out the refrigerator. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're just we're just gonna get her done. You gonna you gonna offer any advice, Cosmo? Or are you gonna play hardball here? Uh, don't eat yellow snow. That's okay. That's, that's the advice <laughs> I'm getting. That's the, uh, it, like, 
like uh, light or don't burn it. Light seasoning, heavy. That's a big cut of meat. I think we go. With, I think we go with a thick just, layer just, here. Just, just oh a, yeah, yeah, it can handle. Solid yeah. base, huh? Yeah. You think that's proper? Or would you add? I more? think that's proper. I would also do the other side yep. and all the edges. Got it. And and all the edges. Too. Yeah, shove okay. it in. All right, we're gonna get her packed down. Cosmo's being nice. He's helping me out. He pretty much just does not want to see me mess up this delicious no, cut, we, cut of we, meat. So we have to respect the meat. We have to respect the meat. But you've got what do you have going on? You've got a I'm gonna coffee do, grinder. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of a uh, a two fold rub. A two fold rub. That's a, that's so we got a one fold. That's going. beyond my cat. My, this uh, is vocabulary. A, this is a. When, when you when you when you're trying to take people to Flavor Town, yeah, this is a little trick you can do. So okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get my steak pulled out. Have you ever talked about this in one of your videos? Or are we getting a are we getting an exclusive here? I don't know about um, one of the steak videos if I have, but uh, you get to see it here though. I'll cover hot. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Oh yeah. Flip that sucker over. Hit it good. I get the edges. I'm gonna take the SPG. Just put a little bit in my coffee grinder. Get the lid on, and uh, we're gonna do a light grind on it. You hear that? You hear that, boys? That's the sound of victory right there. Look at there. I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. This is what wins world champions. You would know. So I, I can't even counter to that statement. Now I'm gonna leave this right here for when we're done because I'll hit mine again. That's three times. Bingo. I feel like we're underprepared well, for this event. We will too. We got some more. <laughs> we got some more. Texas beef, we'll throw that on afterwards then. How about that? Well, that'd be a good call. Grab my submarine and hit the grill. I gotta go put my cooker together now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That little, that little $13, 12 grill. Oh, man. So, my grill surface is so small, I don't know if I just spread a little bit of coals on the bottom and do a slow cook, or if I try to build an indirect fire and then let the bone hang over the fire while the meat is indirect. I don't know. <laughs> I got to put together, and I ain't gonna lie to you, man. This is janky. This is janky, bad janky. <laughs> but uh, hey, we're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna get this uh, $200 tomahawk ribeye cooked in a. Uh, now I find out it's a $12.95 grill. Yeah. So uh, let's do this. All right, guys, I got to split here in a minute, so I'm actually going to put this baby on the big grill. Cosmo's over there trying to work his little $13 grill, but we got the big rig, so I'm going to put this thing on here. I got to run. I won't be here to see if we win or not. Uh, I think we got this one in the back, but uh, we'll see what happens. Let me get the thing on the grill. Woo-wee. So there's no right or, way, uh, right or wrong way to do this, huh? Throw her on there. Throw her on there, he says. Let's go. My new theory, my new game plan is, if I can cut a notch out of the lid, let the bone hang out, I can shut the lid, get a more even cook, and teach these boys. So what do you think? That's the tomahawk window. Okay, this'll work. I feel, I feel way better now. Well, Weston's gone. He left it all up to me now. He threw it on the grill. He's headed out. Yeah. I gotta keep an eye on it. Luckily, I've got a nice little pellet grill here that has a probe, so I just stuff the probe in the meat. Once it reaches, uh, so once it hits about 125-ish, I'm gonna take it off, throw it in the pan, let it chill, and then uh, and then everybody, hopefully, hopefully, Herrick and Rack get back here so they can be the taste testers. We 
you guys stay tuned. Yeah, man, it's going to work. Look at that. I am building a <laughs> indirect wall. That's it. That's it. That's it. So the steak right now is about 75 degrees. Don't really know what that means. I don't. I also don't know when I should flip it. I guess when it has the grill marks and stuff. But uh, Cosmo's over here just chopping his whole grill apart, trying to make it work. So give him credit for creativity. All right, he's not just gonna kind of give up. He's really gonna try and beat me with the twelve dollars and ninety-seven cent grill. But I don't know. I think mine's gonna be a lot better. Might have been a little premature on that, that flip there, but we're gonna get the probe back in, make sure I don't overcook it. Oh, I flipped huh? it, and I don't know if I was supposed to. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to. You're never supposed to flip it? Well, you could, but. Oh. Yeah. I thought I, thought I was being. Not at this temperature. Is it gonna be alright? Oh, yeah. It's good? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. You're fine. Right, that looks right. good. Alright, we're good. This is working out good so far. Oh yeah. So I keep the steak away from the heat and uh, I can let my bone hang out. Yeah. <laughs> you look at this. There's a, there's a bone hanging out of the side of the grill. If he pulls this off and if the boys rank his higher than mine, I just, I don't know. I don't know. You, that's a whole new crown and a whole new trophy. Your 2015 world champion record means nothing compared to this. This, this, this tops everything. Th th hey, so it, could I get my own Guggen shirt? We might, we might be able to do that. We might be able to get... <laughs> Matt, Matt's like, no! Matt, yeah, no! Yeah, yeah. We might. I'll see, how, see if I can pull some strings. But this is like, this is just hilarious to look at right now. The fact that there's a $200 steak on a $12 grill. It's just... I hope it turns out good. Talk about a steak, boys. What do you think about that? She looks good. I feel like she doesn't look too bad. No. Looks good. I think I, I, think I need to hit it with some Texas beef, though. A little, a little after seasoning. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we got a fire. We got a fire in the kitchen there, boys. Yeah. See, see this is why we can't have nice things, right here. <laughs> we are getting a little after grill Texas beef. Just, just a drizzle. Just enough for it to kind of melt into it just to form a nice little crust on there. I also heard Cosmo talking about doing that with his seasoning, so I figured I'd just do the same thing. But I think we're ready to go. We're gonna let it sit, cool down, and see if the guys show up to, uh, to taste the meat, see who takes the dub today. So we finally hit the temperature, and now I gotta get this sucker pulled off of here. Woo! She doesn't look mm, half bad at all. Every video is just me. I, I love this part of the day. This is my I like to see Cosmo cutting in with juicy oh piece my of God. meat. Oh my it's like washing loads are play a symphony. So where did you guys cook these things on the um, little mini grill or the he uh we bought a twelve dollar grill from Walmart? And this didn't fit, so he took shears and cut into the metal lid, so the bone was just hanging out of it, and he cooked it over charcoal. And oh, then I, wow. I used the pellet grill. So, so is this a competition? Yeah. Yes. The oh, master, really? The master oh, wow. The he used a $12 grill. grill for a $200 steak, and I used, like, I don't know, 5 That's a five good idea. Grill. Wow. Yeah, so, nice. okay, so we don't know. <laughs> so right. we don't, you don't know who cooked what and how, but... Woo. My taste the, ste ready. the steak has just been sitting here, and I'm gonna wow. like, well, Cosmo's gonna be the one cu cutting. Yeah, I'll cut them. So it's going on so here. it's fair both yeah. ways. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you guys can judge which one's better, the pellet grill or the twelve dollar Walmart grill. I love you guys so much. We had kind of a rough water. day today, so yeah. I love you. It's this good. is a win right here this for us. This is. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Now the owner of this one had requested that whatever this is get put on okay. after after it's cut. Yeah. So just know that. 
All right. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh man, wow. look at that. I know that's got yeah. Rackley wrote all oh, over it. We just gnaw on that thing. Delicious. Oh yeah, that's a good looking steak right there. Yeah. That is a good oh, looking steak. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh, salt bag coming in hot. Coming in hot. It's an interesting container for the, uh, the dust. Bon appetit. Okay. Oh my goodness. This Look at is, that. Wow. Look okay. at that. So this one's got, it's a little bit more raw, I would say. I don't, I don't a little bit more fat. About this. I think we just need to go for it. This is the one I touched. So. Oh my goodness. Wow, that these are got some serious chunks. Well, the, well I'll, I'll let you guys get into it before we get into it. I'm just going to go. Oh my gosh, it. relax. It's not a competition. He just shoved a, the largest chunk of meat I've ever seen. Right in the, the goal. I've seen him do bigger. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Is it not bad? I feel like I know who cooked which one. Maybe. Man, that's good. I'm going to try another piece. Like, it's good. All right, I got to get in here. I got to grab this Buttery. Now I'm going to get in here on this one. Is that girl pretty nice? Mm-hmm. It worked out. Fire. All right, I gotta get, I gotta get, I gotta get in here. Mm-hmm. I gotta start trying some of this. Okay. I got it. I'm so hungry. Wow. You know which one? Yep. Really? I got it. Yep. Can I say? Are we ready? Mm, not yet. Mm, not let yet. him make up his mind. Okay, I'm gonna eat a little bit more. Do one more on both here. I'm not made up my mind yet. <clears throat> Look at this amazing piece right here. Wow. Dude, they're both really good. Wow. Like, really good. Oh, man. Wow. I just waffled right there. All right. I think I know. Uh, this is extremely hard, but I'm going to go with this one here. Okay. That option. Okay. What are you? What are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna do a tiebreaker? So we gotta get a third third party involved, or are you just gonna send the dub home? You know what? Honestly, I feel like this one. If it was on there for probably about two more minutes, I would have chose this one. This one was just. It was perfect all around. I'm a medium rare kind of guy, and I feel like that's what that was. I had enjoyed the salt and pepper as well on that one, so. A little I, extra I, more flavor on there, I thought too. Just a little. Do you think hint. that this was? You think this was the twelve dollar grill, or do you think that's this one was the? Uh, I think this was the pellet grill. Yeah, I think this one was easier control to control. Yeah, yeah. this one looks like it, it. It was harder to work, you know, and you can see some of the grill lines, um, but I, like I said, both. What's, mouth what's, watering. What's the deal? So we're gonna tie we're, we're totally Gosh dang it, dude! Yeah. Twelve dollar yes. grill. No way. Yeah. Yes. yes. Dude, I'm, can I shake your? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. You did that with a twelve yes. dollar grill. Yes. Oh my gosh. He, Cosmo, killed, he killed it. You are the man. He killed it. Twelve dollar grill took the dub. Did you Did you see what we did to it out there? No. You, so you, oh no, you didn't. Even, oh, you no. got to go look at it. You got to go look at the engineering that went into. Uh, getting it to where to it work would works, yeah. even fit this piece of meat in there. The grill, because the grill's like this big. Like, yeah. it was as big as the, the piece of meat. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed today's cook off. $12 Walmart grill challenge. <sighs> Can't believe I lost. I had everything on my side. I even had a partner in crime, Weston, and we still couldn't take down the king of all grilling. If you want to follow Weston, he'll be linked down below, as well as Cosmo, he's got cooking videos. So if you enjoy the cooking videos and you want to actually learn how to do this and cook really good food, his channel will be linked down below. You guys should go, should, go, should go check it out. But also comment some other cook-off ideas. We've been doing a ton of cooking and you guys seem to love it. So what do you guys want to see next? We've done some expensive steaks. Do you guys want to see the world's cheapest steak and see how good he can make it? That's an idea. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comment section down below. I will catch you guys on the next Guggen Squad episode. Thanks for watching. Peace.